Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to do another one of our popular verses. And we also got another giveaway for you. So y'all stay tuned. <music> So today's verses is going to involve these two beautiful boneless ribeye steaks and those fresh zucchinis. These guys here we just seasoned with some Everglades original and uh, the zucchini we uh, seasoned those with one of our favorites Seminole Swamp uh, original just got in a new batch of that. So the verses is going to be old cast iron skillet and a propane burner versus the infamous and classic Weber kettle grill which we already just started up some charcoal right there so here's the deal I know you know if you're like me work a real job you know you come home every day and try to make something to eat sometimes you don't want to fool with firing up the grill waiting for the charcoal to get ready but you got some steaks thawed out and brought home from grocery store whatever and uh, you know you just don't have the time or effort or energy left in your body to go out and start up the grill every single day so we're going to compare the two and uh, stay tuned because you might be surprised okay so if we were to start a timer and use uh, the time to make this dish uh, as part of the factor who wins uh, you start the timer about five minutes ago because we just started this charcoal five minutes ago it's in the chimney it's about the fastest way you can start it and then we're going to put it in a grill and all that meantime Mr. Cast Iron in the other corner eh, he hasn't even started yet he still sits just sitting over here chilling Took about eight or nine minutes. Go ahead and put them over there on one side. They're also on top of some uh, some older coals that were down in there. Uh, let them get all lit. Sorry, I hard to do work a camera and grill steak. Alrighty, grill's getting ready. And personally, I think the grill has the advantage. Okay, since the grill's getting hot, let's start getting our pan hot. Let's go ahead and light this bad boy up. I'm going to put a medium high heat on this to start with. This is uh, number 10 Antique Three Notch Lodge. Smooth bottom. All right, so uh, everything's hot now that I put a little bit of grapeseed oil in the uh, cast iron. I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple squash in around the edges there. Get a little cooler at the edges. And then uh, same thing on the grill. I'm going to kind of put it at the edge of the flame. I'm going to put it right over the top of it. We did a little uh, coating of olive oil on those and uh, some little swamp seed. Okay, we give those about a two-minute head start. So, in with a steak, and it should be hot, sizzling, just like that. Maybe even a little hotter. That grill is burning hot. Let's turn this up just a little bit. You gotta keep an eye on your squash. You don't want them to over brown on the flesh side. That was getting pretty close. Check the grill. Are we getting some grill marks there? Not quite what we're looking for yet, so we'll give them back over just a minute. Hey guys, cook time really short. We're going medium rare on these guys. Uh, that's the way me and Mrs. Backwoods likes them. If you want to go a little further, 
be my guess, but it's the way we're going to go medium rare. It looks like it's already time to flip this guy. We might have to ease him off a little bit. The one in the cast iron is doing great though. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. Getting a nice sear on it. We'll go ahead and flip him over to it. Yeah, as you can see color wise, very similar. Okay, we do got those grill marks on the on the grill. Not over here. But if you see these with the fine, we flip that over here. It's just a nice uh, brownness on this side. We flip it over to the skin side, let it finish up. We don't want it to be uh, completely mush. So we're getting ready just about to take these guys off. Okay, both are ready to come off. Those steaks, we'll let them sit over here and rest on a pan. Beautiful both sides. Um, you know, worst thing you can do for me is overcook it. It's going to be uh, rare to medium rare. And uh, these veg, they're perfect too. We'll be able to tell them apart, you know, tell them apart because you know, one has grill marks, the other does not. See, the ones over on the grill need a few more minutes, so we'll leave them there for a minute. Okay, so what I'm going to do over here, since uh, so that cast iron doesn't have a unfair advantage, I got my little tiny, tiny, tiny lodge cast iron. I'm going to throw it up there and melt some butter on here. Over here on this skillet, I'm going to turn it off. Let that cool for a second, then we're going to put some Just butter turn it off in the that. fire, and I'm going to go ahead and throw two pats of butter in there. I'm going to grab our tongs. That's why we kind of took this out early. We're going to lay that steak right back on top of that butter. And give it one piece on top. Just let it, uh, no fire. Okay. Just using the heat that's left in the pan. Grilled zucchini's ready. Little tangy little lodge. All of our butter's melted, but we want to get it nice and hot. Almost to the point of browning. Just like we're doing over here in the in the cast iron. We can go ahead and flip that over. Right in that browned butter. Those guys are almost ready to serve. Just going to loosely cover them with some foil, keep them from getting too cold. While we get ready to plate. So uh, earlier I mentioned a giveaway. And what we got to give away uh, this month is Seminole Swamp Seasoning. Just got my new batch in. I got plenty to give away. So what we're going to do is we're going to give uh, one brand new fresh uh, Seminole Swamp Original to a new subscriber that comes aboard on this video and I do have a way to track that we'll give that about a month or so and we'll randomly pick a new subscriber that comes aboard on this video and we'll send them one out um, also we'll be sending another one out to one of our commenters whether you're a subscriber or not okay um, I know most of you guys that do comment a lot are subscribers. We're going to send this out to uh, somebody. What we're going to do this time, instead of using the computer to pick, we are going to actually uh, keep all the comments that I like. Because <laughs> some people, I'll be honest with you, they robo-commented me. They did all kinds of things trying to win the contest. It's a cast iron giveaway. So this time, you leave a great comment. I'm going to probably pick it. We're going to put them all in a hat in a couple months, and we're going to let Mrs. Backwoods pick one, and then we'll send you out a free Seminole Swamp original seasoning. All right, guys, time for the plate. And I'm going to cut uh, a piece from the very same spot in both, both steaks. 
This is the cast iron one right here. Medium rare, perfect. And I'm going to take that uh, that same piece off the Weber kettle grill, grilled steak. Same thing. Beautiful. All right. So for a cast iron one, going to do is pour a little bit of that butter. Heavy, a little bit of that browned butter right over that. So for our grill, when we have the little teeny tiny lodge that we put on there and brown a little bit of butter on the grill, so we don't want it to have a disadvantage. So I'm gonna go ahead with that. Then we're gonna give them a taste test. Then I'll show you how to plate it up. So here we go: cast iron, seared steak versus charcoal grilled steak. First we're going to try the cast iron grilled steak. That is absolutely wonderful. Okay, That high heat we use with the cast iron really uh, kind of almost gives you that smoky flavor. You know, that comes from like searing and charring and caramelizing the outside part of that that steak. That's why you want to need, need a good medium high heat, get that cast iron smoking before you put that in there. So now we'll uh, go ahead and try the Weber Kettle Grill traditional uh, charcoal grill steak. That is awesome as always, as it always is. But who's the okay. winner? To me, too close to call. Let's get Mrs. Backwoods out here and see if she can call. Okay, I'm setting up the, the test. This one, that's cast iron. This one, that's grill. She doesn't know that. Okay, so she has no idea which steak is which or how it was cooked. So we're going to let her taste both and see if she can tell the difference and pick a winner between the two. Remember, they were prepared with exactly the same seasoning, but on two different uh, heat sources. All right, so go ahead. Try that one first. That's possum leather. Uh, just kidding. Okay, yeah, go ahead and try the other one. See if they're they're different or better, one's better than the other, or what do you think? Okay, I'm running out of film here. Um, um, um okay. I like this one. Okay, which one did you point to? Okay, that was the cast iron steak. Okay. This one had a different taste to it. But which was better? I like this one. She liked the cast iron steak better. There you go. All right, it was a taste test, not eat the whole thing. <laughs> <coughs> so guys, I decided I wasn't gonna do a uh, plating vid. Uh, part of this video tonight uh, we're hungry we want to eat and uh, you know we've shown you that you can whip out the cast iron and do a steak this is the grill one because Mrs. Backwoods preferred the cast iron one so she got that one so you can take this old cast iron pan on a nice hot fire and make a great steak with it uh, every time and it's super easy and super fast so you get home late from work, but you got some steak you want to cook, don't want to mess with the grill, get out your propane burner, get out some good old cast iron. It does an awesome job. If you're on a diet, you can always use one of these.
Thanks for watching Backwoods Gourmet. As always, if you like what we're doing, hit that subscribe button right there. You may win some Seminole Swamp Seasoning. Hey, if you want to see our last video, check it out right up there. And for a whole playlist of cast iron Dutch oven cooking, check it out right up here. Any subs? Leave a comment.